Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class. In today's class, we will see the semaphores. And in this class, we will see the definition of semaphore, write and signal operations. This is the most important operations in semaphore and the two different types of semaphores. The semaphore is proposed by the Dutch scientist Dijkstra in the year 1965. Uh, he is a very famous uh, scientist who proposed the algorithm for shortest path between two nodes. We might have studied in the subject algorithm, isn't it? So, the same scientist proposed the very significant technique to manage the concurrent process in operating system. Now, let us see what is semaphore. Semaphore is nothing but a simple integer variable. Okay, this integer variable is used to manage the concurrent processes. Okay, by using the two operations called wait and signal. Okay, let us see what is the purpose of wait operation. Wait operation is used to the entry point to the critical section. Okay, so this is the entry section here. Wait operation is used. Okay, and the signal is used in the exist section. So this is the exist section here. Signal operation is used. Okay. For wait and signal, which is otherwise called as P and V operations. Okay, P is for wait operation and V is for signal operations. Why it is called as P and V? Here, wait operation was originally termed as P. P is nothing but proberon. Proberon means test, to test. Okay, proberon is a Dutch term because the scientist Dijkstra is from Dutch, isn't it? So, proberon is a Dutch term that is to test ok hence the wait operation is originally termed as p operation and next when come to signal which is originally called as v v means verogen verogen means to increment the dutch term verogen means to increment hence the signal was originally called as v so wait means p operation and signal means v operation the wait and signal operation. First, let us see the wait operation. Okay, wait operation is in the entry section of critical region problem, isn't it? As we have already seen, the wait operation is otherwise called as P operation. It will accept one argument. The argument type is integer. See, this is the definition of wait operation. It accepts one argument of type integer. Of type integer. And now, if the argument is negative or non or zero, if the argument is S is negative or zero, okay, while you enter into the wait operation, first it will check whether the S value is less than or equal to zero. Then no operation is performed because the while loop is ended by semicolon. If the condition is true, then it will repeatedly execute this particular statement and it will not come out because this is in the while operation. So, if the S value is 0 or less than 0, then the control will struck into the while operation. Okay. Then when it will come out from the while operation, if the S value will be positive until that is if S value will be negative means it will continuously execute this particular operation which is called as busy wait. We have already seen in the previous class itself, isn't it? Okay. So, it will continuously execute this particular while operation until the S value will get positive. Okay. That means if argument S is negative or 0 then no operation is performed. That means it will continuously execute the while operation. Why? Because it is ended by semicolon. If the argument value is positive, once the S value will be positive, then the decrement that is the wait operation will decrement the S value and it will enter into the critical section. That is if S is positive, then only the operation will enter into the critical section. Otherwise, it will execute only in the critical section itself that is the entry section itself. Okay. Once the value is positive then the integer value that is the argument value S yes, will be decremented and it will enter into the critical section. 
What is the meaning of this? If S value is negative, if S value is negative or 0, negative or 0 means already some process is there in the critical section which is executing that critical section. So, until that we have to wait that is the current process have to wait. Hence, this is called as wait operation, right. The next operation is the signal operation which is V, is not it? So, that will give signal to the other operation that is the current process has completed its uh, critical section execution, ok. For that purpose only we are using the signal operation, is not it? So, after completing this critical section, the control will enter into the exit section. So, in the exit section we are having the signal operation. In the signal operation, it will increment the S value by 1. So, previously it was 0 or negative value. After executing the critical section, the current process will increment the S value by 1, right. The integer variable S yes, which is otherwise called as semaphore which is a common variable for all the processes that is S is a shared variable. If there is any modification in the S yes, by using the operation wait or signal and that must be executed indivisibly. What is indivisible operations that means if one process modifies the semaphore value no other process, no other process can simultaneously modify the same semaphore value that means the operation wait and signal are non preemptive operations that is without interruption these two operations should be executed. In wait operation the testing of integer value that is whether S is less than or equal to 0 after that it will modifies the S value that is it will decrement the S value. These operations should be executed without interruption. And now let us see the types of semaphore. Here we are having two types of semaphore. First one is binary semaphore and second one is counting semaphore. In the binary semaphore the semaphore value will be either 1 or 0. Only two values will be accepted that is S value will be either 1 or 0. When come to counting semaphore, the S value will be equal to number of resources, number of resources available in the critical section. Hence, this much resources are allowed to enter the critical section. For example, if S value equal to 4, that means 4 number of resources are, sorry, 4 number of processes are allowed to access the 4 resources. The first one is binary semaphore. Binary semaphore value is restricted to 0 and 1. As I already told you, the semaphore value S yes is only two values, either 0 or 1 or 1. Okay. The wait operation only works when the semaphore value is 1. Okay. If the semaphore value is 1, that is 1 is positive value, then the value will be decremented by 0 then that will enter into the critical section. So, this is the weight operation. So, the weight operation will work only if the semaphore value is 1 otherwise it will struck into the while loop. Okay. It is sometimes easier to implement the binary semaphore when compared to the counting semaphore because the S value is only 0 or 1. And next let us see the working principle of binary semaphore that is how two process uh, will share the critical region, ok, will execute in the critical region. Uh, here the common variable is yes, the semaphore value which is integer value we have already seen. Initially the value is 1, ok, first the process 1 will execute the wait operation that is in the entry section process 1 will come, ok. So, it will execute this while operation. What is the while operation? While yes less than or equal to 0. So, initially the value is 1, ok. The condition is false. Hence, it will come out of this while loop and it will reduce the value into minus minus, s equal to s minus minus. Then, the s value is 0 now. Currently, the S value is 0 now, then the process 1 will enter into the critical section. It will enter the critical section. 
okay and now the process will process 2 will come to the critical section let us assume okay now the same s will come to the weight operation now what is the value of s s equal to 0 now is not it. So, currently the process 1 changed the s value that is decremented the s value now the value is 0 ok. Then it will come to the while section what is here s less than or equal to 0 if it is less than or equal to 0 the condition is true then it will struck into the while loop it will struck into the while loop and it will not come out. So, the s process 2 is busy wait now ok. Once the process 1 completes its critical region then it will come to the exit section after executing the critical section process 1 will come to the exit section. So, in the exit section signal operation is there the signal operation will increment the s value currently what is the s value s value is 0 after incrementing the s value will become 1 the s value will become 1. So, the process 1 will executed come successfully the critical section ok. So, now when come to process 2 now what is the s value the s value is now incremented by 1. So, the s is positive now is not it once the value change to positive then only the process 2 will come out from the while loop now the s value will be decremented and the process 2 now execute the critical section successfully after that it will come to the exit section that is the signal operation and now the s value will be incremented by 1 now the s value is positive again ok this is how the process 1 and process 2 will execute the critical section without any interruption counting semaphore in this counting semaphore the semaphore s value will be more than 1 that is the semaphore count is the number of available resources here which is used to, to coordinate the resource access if s value is 4 that means 4 number of resources are there hence 4 number of process are allowed to access the resources that is the meaning of this if resources are added then the semaphore s value will also automatically incremented if the resource is removed then the s value should also be decremented right and based on the resource count the same number of process are allowed in the critical section. So, this is the important of counting semaphore here also the weight and signal operations are uninterrupted that is only one time one process can change the value of s right. Now, let us see the working principle of counting semaphore if the s value is 2 that is how uh, the more number of process will access the critical section by using the counting semaphore. So, initially the s value is 2 ok. Now, the first process will come to the entry section this is P1 will come to the entry section ok. So, the s value is initially 2 then it will execute the while section what is the value of s this is positive is not it greater than 0 then it will automatically decrement the s value. Now, what is the s value s equal to 1 now because the process 1 decrements the s value the s value is 1 s equal to 1. Now, the process 1 will enter into the critical section and simultaneously the process 2 will also tries to enter the critical section. Now, what is the value of s s equal to 1 ok and this is also greater than 0 the s value is greater than 0 hence it will come out from the while loop and the process 2 will decrement the s value now s equal to 0 ok and process 2 will also enter into the critical section because we are having 2 resources ok. So, we allow 2 process to enter the critical section that is 2 different threads will be executed in the same section ok at a time the process 3 will also tries to enter the critical section now what is the s value s value is 0 ok now the process 3 will enter into the critical section and it will execute this while operation that is while loop the s value is 0 hence it will struck into this while loop it will not come out 
okay until otherwise these two process any of the process should come out then only the process 3 will be allowed okay so after completing the execution of process 1 the process 1 will come to the exit section and that will increment the s value now what is the s value s value equal to 1 okay once the s value is turned to positive here equal to 1 then the process 3 will decrement the s value now which is equal to 3 then the process 3 will enter into the critical section ok. Likewise more number of process can share the critical section ok based on the number of resources available. Up to this we have seen the semaphore definition of semaphore and the weight and signal operations and two types of semaphore that is binary semaphore and counting semaphore. I hope you understand this class very well and now this is the question time. Um, students please write what is the initial value of S in the counting semaphore. You can write your answer in the count comment box and in the next class we will see another topic from interprocess communication. Thank you.